I'm excited to show you this week's video. It's a 2017 Ram 2500 with a 6.7 Cummins diesel. Your tool list is going to be really easy. You'll need a 3 8 ratchet and extension. You'll probably want oil filter pliers. I'm using the Amsoil EAO AD filter and 12 quarts 5W40. Now you can use 15W40, but for Nova Scotian winters, 540 is a little bit better. You'll also need an oil drain pan, and let's get started. You're going to go under the passenger front wheel well, and you'll see the oil filter there. Now remembering what it's like to work on diesel vehicles, you're definitely going to want to wear a pair of gloves to keep the soot off your hands. Now I had a little oopsie here, and I was actually tightening the filter instead of removing it, and then my phone died. So you're going to want to turn the filter uh, towards the back of the truck to remove it. Remembering, of course, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. So once I got my phone charge back up and got the filter off, I'm reinstalling this new AMSO filter. And as you can see, this has a 25,000 mile life, which is around 40,000 kilometers. Um, so it's very high efficiency filter. And we're gonna thread that on righty tighty. Don't forget to add a little bit of oil to the O-ring so it doesn't become stuck on your next oil change. Sorry about the angle here. Once I get the extension in, it's a little bit easier to locate the drain bolt. However, it's a 3 8 inverted drain bolt. Some Cummins I've changed the oil on in the past have used an H8 hex head, um, but this is the easy 3 8 So crack that loose, and then it's going to be 12 quarts of hot oil pouring straight down. So you may uh, need to adjust your oil drain pan in order to not get splashed. Unfortunately, I got pretty splashed. When I took the oil filter out, it splashed and made a pretty big mess on the frame and the steering. So I'm just wiping it down now for my customer. So once the oil is done draining out, you can add your drain bolt back into it and torque her down. Finally, we're going to come up top and we're going to add our 12 quarts of 5W40 into the engine.
To reset your engine oil life, you're going to use these arrows on your steering wheel to cycle through the menus until you hit the oil life uh, section. Then you'll push and hold the button, but it's going to tell you that your engine must be off but in the run position. So hit your push button to put it in the proper position. And then you can hold that button and it will reset your oil life to 100%. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching this oil change video, guys. If you want to see anything in the future, comment below and have a great week.